Joe, we're talking about another game of fine margins there as Tomrich sneak home later on. What did you make of your overall performance in your team today? Yeah, fine. I, I don't think they deserve the three points. I thought we were the dominant side in the game if you're looking at territory and possession. Um, really difficult pitch. I think the pitch looks, you can see. I mean, I, you notice a bit more where I'm sat up, up the top, really bobbly, difficult for the boys to control the ball. You've got to have an extra touch. Um, we're the ones in ascendancy. Second half again, we really stepped onto it into the into the into the slope, going down the slope. Um, obviously, we hit the post through Dan Hayfield deflected shot, array of set pieces. We need better with our, we need to be better with our set pieces because there's really good delivery going in, but we don't seem to get on the end of them. Um, they seem to defend well against us, so we spoke about that afterwards. But if you look at the performance, I can't fault the players. Um, they, they're having to go to the well. Week in, week out, because all we've got is that 11 or that 10 outfield players, really. Spokes is sort of half fit from his illness, and that's all we had out there. So we're asking the same players to go again. Um, effort was there. The fitness levels, obviously, are very, very good because they're playing game to game. And like I said, I thought we looked a really good side. Lots of really lovely patterns and shape about us. Um, never looked in any danger as well. It was one moment of real madness, and I'm not really sure. I mean, I could see it clearly from where I was. Suddenly, as a... As a backline, we just decided to to be really aggressive and sort of run out of spaces. And um, I'm not going to point out individuals here, but I've spoken to a certain few down there where they just ran out of place where they didn't need to. The whole game, we've been so solid, right the way through the team from the top through to the midfield areas. The wing backs have been really aggressive. I thought Elliot Freer was terrific again at left wing back. Um, Never looked a problem and I don't think anyone in the stadium would have thought we'd ever lose that game and um, of course that one moment of madness and the strike by the sub that comes on is, is gone, in, gone in the bobbled in the, the far corner. So yeah, I'm really disappointed for the players because they've put in a monumental effort over the last week or so. Um, but they'll have to go again, we'll have to go again Tuesday, we certainly didn't deserve to lose it. Um, I thought we were the better side so um, I'm sure Jay will go away thinking well they're fortunate to take three points away from us. But they did, um, and we have to um, we have to get back on on Tuesday. Um, like I say, if performance levels are like that, we'll have no issue whatsoever. Um, we just been on the wrong end of a bit of bad luck again today. Said about how stretched the squad has been. Kieran Parcel really struggling in his final twenty minutes or so. Is he going to be okay for Tuesday? Yeah, he's fine. No, he's fine. Yeah, a couple of kicks on his ankle. That's all. Um, they're only impact injuries, so. Just got to get on with it. He's fine. He's, he's told me there he's fine. He'll go again Tuesday. Mm -hmm. But yeah, physically we are being stretched. Of course we are. When you're having to play game after game and you've only got 10 or 11 outfield players. I mean, our bad luck there with the right wing backs. It's difficult for me to go and get one now because you've still got to pay those clubs. You know, Birmingham City and Dorking, of course, respectively. The two players come from there and once you agree a deal, it's agreed. So um, difficult for us with our resource to go out and get another one. So um, you ask Dan Hayfield to go and play, which he does. Does a great job for us going playing in there. Um, but when, when you play a lot of minutes and a lot of games, your, your attacking stuff needs to be a little bit sharper. And it's difficult because the lads looked a little bit leggy near the end, even though we were the better side by far second half. I thought first half was pretty tight without either team really creating any chances. Um, but second half, I thought we were by far the better side. And um, we, couldn't quite, we couldn't quite find that bit of quality. And I thought it would be a set piece. I didn't think it would be a, an open play goal at all. I thought it may be a corner or a free kick or something that went in and I thought it would be us that would score it. Um, so we're a little bit stunned, a little bit shell-shocked by it. But like I said, some of the, the decision-making around that goal, when they look at, back at it, some of the individuals, it, wasn't, it was really out of character for the whole, well, the last four or five games. We haven't seen anything like that. And one moment like that, a lapse in concentration or a bit, a bit giddy in your thinking, um, gives them an opportunity and they took it. You were forced to sit in the main stand today. Do you learn even more about your side with that high vantage point? I mean, you were able to communicate with the bench at least. Yeah, no. I, well, listen, you see the game a little bit different, I guess, but I'm, I, I, I prefer it by far when I'm in the game. Um, I feel like I help when I'm in the game as well. And I, th I feel like when you're down pitch, it's like you're playing anyway. So, yeah, that, it's, it's not for me, really, if I'm being totally honest. Obviously, you have to serve my one, one match ban for four bookings over the course of the season. Um, but I look forward to being back down by the side. Um, lads were great in their communication with me, the staff, and also the players. But, um, yeah, I look forward to being back there Tuesday. Yeah, we've got a good record on the 3G this season, which, of course, we'll be playing on on Tuesday at Slay. I think the surface will help suit you against a team that, yeah. that picked up a good result, though, today at St Albans. Yeah, I don't know the result. Um, so, yeah, listen, we... we <laughs> We're a good football inside. We, we play some really good football, but we play with a purpose, like I said, in the week. So we've just come off the back of some really, really good results. And today's not a great result for us, but the performance level was there. So um, 
people will make their own minds up on that I, undoubtedly because we've lost the game but you need to look at the game subjectively you need to look at it properly and see what we did in that game as I said the team were going to have an opportunity on that pitch it's really difficult um, to, to create one of those mesh special moments where you have a bit of quality but we tried and we had lots of combinations and we had lots of entries in the box and on another day like I said when that one hits the post it goes in or it falls to us and we can score afterwards um, but I can't, I can't fault the group for their performance. Like I said, it's just we've been on the end of a bad result. Um, look our wounds and we'll get back on Tuesday. I know last year, the month of February, when we played all the top teams, really struggled. Whereas this year, we've won three games this month. We're only one, we're actually level on the same number of points as what we got in the whole last season. So the bigger picture, you must be happy with how the progression has been despite all those setbacks this season. Yeah, I mean, when I looked at the run of, res run of fixtures actually going into February, it was going to be a really tough month. But what the boys have done, they've dug in tremendously well and they've listened and they've learned and they've improved. And that's all you can ask from your group. Um, and when it's a small group, it's, it's demands on them. As I said, physically and mentally, it's not just the stuff where you're going out and seeing them play. It's the jumping in the car, it's going, having to go to work and then get up and then go again. Um, we've had to be really careful in training with them, obviously. We've had to listen to them, but we've had to say, go on, they know you go again, same 10 or 11. Only Tom Smith came in today, who'd done well, um, who'd been on the sidelines previous to that. So... Yeah, again, we have to adjust because of injuries, but we do it and we just get on with it. And what's pleasing for me is that actually it still looks like that Bath City team, whoever goes in and plays, they're still trying to do the right things. Um, they're really confident. They look really positive in what they're doing. And like you say, they should be because they've had a really good couple of weeks and a good month so far. Um, we win today and that's four wins on the bounce in all competitions, including the FA Cup, um, including the Somerset Cup tie. And that's really positive. Lots of goals, minimal goals conceded. We don't... We're never in games when we're losing three, fours and fives or anything like that. We're really, really good defensively. Certainly in this month we have been. And um, yeah, I'm really gutted for the players because they didn't, they didn't deserve that today. If we'd sat here tonight and we'd had a point which we should have had minimum, um, then that's a really good return from the recent games. But um, yeah, we'll lift them up and they'll be fine. We'll go again Tuesday. Now, commiserations and we'll see you again in Slough in a couple of nights' time. Cheers. Thanks, Thanks. Mark.